Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and it's Sunday and we are going to start a new project. Like I need to have, do that like it will, yeah, I don't know. Don't need to start a new project, but I want to. So I have these bags and some of you will have received those in the big packs or in past Christmas Florentine packs. And um, they are lovely spotted craft bags if you don't have craft bag these types of bags just a craft bag like a big one or some type of um, paper bag even a Christmas bag like you know you can buy um, I'm not telling you to go out and buy them but you might have bought or received from me last year I had some other um, Christmassy paper bags um, because I think I might have had some of these but I couldn't get these were out of stock at the wholesalers so um, anyway and we're going to make um, a pocket a double pocket and um, and then I'll do two and then we're going to um, make a journal to go in the back pocket and also we're going to fill the pockets and we'll probably put another pocket there so I'm going to glue these down I've just folded it about a third up I'm going to glue those down and oh no I'll open this pocket that's what I'll do I'll open that you see and then that will be another pocket so let's do that I'm gonna open it see what happens I can always close it again I'm gonna curve it a little bit okay let's see nice we get a pocket there okay cool so I'll do the same on that one Had a busy day just like you know I sort of get really messy, even I'm messy in here and I get messy around the house. So I've I've been putting things away, sorting myself out. I think I might do three. Okay. So I'm folding it this way because I want that lip at the front. Okay. So we'll snip that one as well. I'm very ambitious doing this now it is in the afternoon so the light wasn't so great even though it's sunny um, so I do have my light on so the lighting is a bit yellow and there might be a slight shadow from the from the what's it called the telephone hanging above my head now which one do I need I need this glue I'm gonna get this is the quick drying glue okay you can just hear Steffi on the phone So this glue is a bit like the Fabri-Tac glue. So we'll glue that there. Now I'm going to grab a couple of paper clips. And my little ones. I like these little ones, this sort of thing. And we'll make sure it all clips down. What I do, because it's got a, a gusset, um, I'm going to Put my clips. I don't want to. I don't want to lose that gusset there. So I just clip it like this, and I don't want to lose the gusset at the back from oozing glue as well. So we'll just slide our clip in there and clip the two central bits, and then we'll do the same over here. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. I'm a bit late doing my video. Normally I like to get them done in the morning, but this morning I had a bee in my bonnet and I was doing other things. Getting a bee in my bonnet is a big thing for me. It happens often. So, oh, I, I, will, I know a lot of you probably don't do Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, but for those of you who do, um, I had a quick chat to my sister yesterday. At, she was at my brother's house. And I was, he rang me. So, and she was supposed to ring me today, but she didn't, naughty Sarah. Um, oh, it's been leaking, look at that. Um, so she told me that she had mentioned that we were gonna do the prompt reveal on Wednesday. So, cause it's an extra, extra um, Wednesday in the month. So we are, apparently we are we didn't ch actually chat this week normally so often we chat before we do our videos so we're sort of on the same page but um, we didn't this week so um, that's why I'm just saying that's why I said something different to Sarah was that we didn't coordinate ourselves this week 
Um, and we do have an announcement. Woohoo! Just a fun little thing that we're going to be doing. So we'll tell you about that on... It'll be a stitchy thing. So for those who don't stitch, it's not for you. Um, but, um, yeah, just a little fun thing before Christmas that we're going to be doing. And there we go. Just want to glue that. I mean, not glue it. Pinch, pinch it. Cinch it. Um, oh, here we go. I have a dry wet one here. I'm just going to take that oozy bit off there. Because it was tipped over. You see, I shouldn't leave it lying tipped over. That's my husband talking on the phone. Okay. Push that down. And And it will dry pretty quickly. It's already holding. It holds faster than the Tombow or the PVA glue. They do the same job. They all hold, but this one just dries quicker, 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 quicker. Okay, cool. Bam. Now, I did these many years ago when I first started, and I had forgotten about them. And so um, I want to do. I just felt like doing some more of these. Um, really cute little gift too to give someone okay so we'll leave, put those aside or well, that one aside the other ones are, should be dry by now I'm going to do a little bit of collaging and embellishing here um, we'll start with the first one because that's probably already stuck I'll pr actually I'll probably work on all three at the same time make up your mind Rachel make up your mind Okay, got to get rid of this. I don't need that. Well, the worm paper is always a good option. Sorry, I'm picking papers up off the floor. The worm paper is always a good option for <laughs> collage because it's already chewed up, isn't it? I'm just going to take those bits off. So I might start with something like that. I always start with a bit of book pages, you know. That one might go there because that's how it's for. And it's a sad and sorry state of affairs, this one. It honestly is like lace. Some of the pages, as I've mentioned to you before, they don't even come apart because how of how much they are chewed. They've all, you know, like all these bits sort of get intertwined and they they don't pull apart I'm just going to grab a nice big glue book page grab some glue because I did tidy up yesterday and do some vigorous gluing here now my my um, mat is a bit slopey because um, you know how I had pulled out all of those pieces of ephemera those you know sort of like um, images and things to make journal cards and stuff and I'd put them in the pouch I didn't put them back in the ephemera folder well yesterday and yesterday and the day before a little bit I had two sessions of gluing them to um where's it gone to this the pink books that I have in my shop it's really nice paper and I glued them I'll show you what I've done um in a minute I'll do these first and then I'll show you they're under my mat so that, because they were curling so everything is glued. I've got look, look how they curl. Um, I've got a whole lot that I'm going to be slowly gluing and, and making into ephemera. So yeah, I think that's a good the good mass making thing to do. That's a bit sticky now. I'll put it aside. I glue so I don't really um, unless I need a substrate for something. I don't really use these more these bigger pages. I don't generally make them into something. I could actually. I might one day. 
um, but I, I, if I don't uh, make something out of my glued pages that I'm gluing on, so I don't get it onto my mat, I, um, I do tend to glue on them like 10 times or, you know, multiple times until I can glue no more on them. So they, they seriously get glued all over. Um, and then they go in the bin, those ones, because the reason is because they get lumpy. They get, you know, chunks of glue on them. And then you can't, you can't, see, I'll put them aside to dry and that I'll use that again tomorrow and I'll glue on it until I can no more tomorrow. And then I'll do it another day until it sort of gets really lumpy or starts to stay sticky. Then I, then I'll fold it and then glue on another part of it and fold it. And then it, I don't use it anymore because someone did mention, I hope you use your glue pages. Well, I do mostly. Sometimes I don't because I glued on them too many times and they're lumpy. Right, so I'll put that aside. And now we need to choose something else. So um, I need to grab my papers, which are here. And I do have quite, I'm building up quite a stash of scraps here. So, um... They may be good. Let's just pull it all out so you can see what I'm rifling through. That I wanted to punch a whale tail out of that one. That can go over in my stash. I'm getting quite a stash of plain papers too because I've been, um, as I mentioned before, I've been doing um, those, um, starting the, the journal cards. And so, yeah, I'm getting quite a, quite a stash. Actually, I just saw that. That paper could be nice. A piece of that. I don't know why I hoard my papers. I have had plenty. <laughs> I can get more. I tend to hoard them a little bit. Okay, so um, this one, I feel like I might like a piece of this. that then and I'll have something a little something I still want to see the bag so I don't want to cover all the bag up but I I can put another piece of paper go do it in threes or I could leave it I could put actually a focal point on there maybe we'll just decide in, in a minute I think I can take my paper clips off because they're annoying me you know what Stefano would say they're making me noise that's what he would say that's how it translates from Italian to English is they're annoying me Okay, so put that there. Okay, and then what? Little scraps. Hmm. Don't mind that. A little bit of red. Okay, and then I'll have some sort of focal point, I think. So I didn't go to any Black Friday sales. I'm not really... I can't, I can't cope with the crowds, so I don't bother going to those sorts of things. Um, and I'm not a, like a huge shopper either. I don't um, go bananas shopping all the time. And we did a little bit of shopping when we were in Florence, so having said that. Um, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't really go to any sales. Just going to have a little audition of a few bits and pieces and see if there's anything. Oh, oh that's... That's lovely. Oh no, I was going to use that, wasn't I? It's folded over. It's folded over for a reason. Um, let's see. Oh, I've got a few little pieces. Oh, there's a pocket. Oh, that that's not shouldn't be in there.
So grab your bags if you want to make one and make one along with me. It's always a bit of fun. Fun, fun, fun. It's all about the fun. There's a piece. It's a pretty piece, isn't it? Oh, I think I might put that. I do want to tear it a little bit. I think I'll have it over here. Okay. And then this, do I want to fold that down? No, I think I'll leave that as is. Okay, so that one's decorated. Except it's going to have something here, but I haven't decided what yet. We'll just do one thing at a time. These are fun to make. And I don't know why I haven't made one for such a long time. But, you know, you can fill them with all kinds of things because they've got nice, generous two pockets. One pocket there and another pocket there and another pocket there. Three pockets. You could also put a piece of, um, what's it called? Scrapbooking paper across there and have another one. But I don't think I'll do that because I think there's plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Just looking at that. No. I have this. I like that. Put that there with something more plain like this that going across there that's it okay I love it when decisions don't take me too long I'm sure you guys do too sometimes the decisions come really easily and sometimes they just don't and it happens to me as well, not just you guys, or maybe none. Of, maybe it doesn't happen to you, but it does happen to me. Sometimes I just can't make a decision. Plenty of glue needs to go on. You don't want it peeling off. Actually, I might just put that like that. I love that. And then up there... Let's just get the glue off my fingers. Oh, and you don't want to have your wet one resting on your paper, especially your printed paper, unless you've got a fancy, um, what's it called, a laser plate, uh, printer. I don't have a laser printer, so I don't want to get water on my, on my um, pieces. Don't want that one. I'll just slide them over here. The ones I'm not. I was going. That's very tall. I could take a bit of that. No. Oh, what about this? Nope. I may not find it. What I want. Oh, I like that. I'm going to put that right there. My scribble on just a vintage book page. That needs to slide under there. Okay, cool. I think that's enough. I might decide to come back and put a label I might not so that one's done and then we have this one here I'm excited I found another pocket okay so Doesn't even look Christmassy, this paper like this. A little bit, not much. A 
is what I wanted this bit here. I'm going to put that there. Yes, I am. And I like that more on that side, but we'll see. That's sticky. Here's a whole lot of pages I have glued on that many times. They're all stuck together. Let's just grab those. I am going to take this piece. I'll have to do another one of these because I think this is my last bit of the red. And that's going to go. I know the crooked edge, is, the not straight edge is that side, but that's how it is because that's where I want to put it. Just a little something, something down here. Or over there. Let's see. There. Or there. I think I like it more there. Okay. Decision made. See how quickly they can come together. Start with your book page. Then choose a um, sort of decorative, what I would call it. It's not neutral as in colour, but it's a um, just a decorative pattern. And then something a bit prettier, if you know what I mean. Like something with a bit more things happening on it. Like more colours maybe some flowers or something Christmassy, whatever. Okay, so that's done. It's over there. And now I need to go to my thing here. So quickly, before I do that, I will show you. Let me show you. Let me just clean my fingers because they're sticky. So these are the ones. They're under my mat. Oh, they're flattened. Look at this. So some were done um, just on regular, on my glue paper. These were done on my glue paper. And I've just, all I've done, I've got to glue that better, but I'll do it after, um, is glue them together and they, they need to be finished off, all of them. So they're on the regular and these are on those old books. So what I did was I made sure I could see a little bit of it and then I've done, I put, I folded it over so you get the old old edge and um, and put some writing paper on the reverse side. So I've done it with all of them. So it was really a colour thing, whether I like the colour of that paper with the image or did I like the more yellowing, uh, just vintage paper rather than the antique paper. So um, yeah, these still need to be completed. Um, but that's what I been, have been sitting and doing. Keep the old edge there. Same on this one, that one, and then I've done all of these. Let's have a look here. I just kept on gluing and shoving them under my mat. So there's that one, that's on the old paper. That one there. That's just on vintage paper. I thought, I haven't backed those, I thought they might be nice as tabs as well. So I've left it so I've got that option. There's that one. This one I even folded it over quite a lot. And that's just directly on the old paper from those books. That's just on vintage paper. That's the same as the other one, similar. Those ones were done on vintage paper. This is done on the antique book. And this on the antique book. And then I have all of these here. I need to move them anyway. That I need to, I'm gonna put those under my mat. They all need to be completed. Or oh, look how many I did. And then I did some onto scrapbooking paper to finish those off, but a lot onto the old mid 
between 1850s and 1860s book. So I think that will have, I'm going to put that under my basket. Get started making, oh no, okay, I could put it under this notepad. Yeah. Put that under there, over here. And they stop being so curly whirly. They do flatten. They need the backing on them and then they, they flatten a bit more. And those need to go on my to-do box to finish off. Okay, that's enough mucking around. Now, and those ones I hadn't done. Those over there. Here's some glue paper. Here's my circle thing. Let's get back on track. There's some glue paper. Right. Thread. Oh my gosh, it's all happening, isn't it? Oh, things are going down, aren't they? So you could even add a doily if you wanted to. Not that you want to, you might not want to. You might want to. I'm going to pull a couple out because I quite like that. Different sizes. Oh, those, I haven't done those. Well, they'll be done. I have to do those after another day. Right. Now, let me see here. I could have... Mm, let's just audition. So I quite like something like that on one of them. Or two of them. I think I like that there. So let's put that over there. That one. Now this one, I feel like I might like one there because we have the lovely flower and then we could just have a nice big, oh, I quite like it up there. Hmm, what about this one? It's more, I think it might be the colour. No, not that one. Um, I love that one. I haven't used that one yet. I have in the past, but not this year. Oh, I love that one too. But that's more botanical with botanical. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to be putting that one up there. So that means I might, I'm going to be putting something else down the front. That's okay. That is okay. So we could have, let's try this. Well, that one's already even cut out. Oh, I like that. Okay, quick, snappy, snappy, snappy decision. Snapsville we are. Okay, I'll, put that, I'll have to bring it back down again in a second. I don't know why I put it back up there, but just I wanted to see. Um, I'm just going to cut this out and see if I want something like this as well. Oh, it's so nice. Sunday is nice because you can... It's just a, a day. I do I actually do end up working a bit on Sunday. Um, yeah, quite often, like Sunday's a day, if I run, I'm running out of book page packs, we met Steffi and I make those up because he's here and he likes to help me. He is the king book ripper-upper and um, he actually enjoys it, whereas I don't really enjoy it that much. Um, so I usually do things like that, but I didn't need to do that today. So... Um, so yeah so see i that is really busy and i like it <laughs> let me just see let me just pretend that's not there no no i did like that but i don't know whether i should go there i could go here i could trim a bit off i did like it up there i did but i didn't want to cover i'm not covering all the bag and you'll be able to see the back of the bag but I actually really like that. That is clash feel. Clash, clash. Busy, busy. Okay, let's just think about it. Okay. Oh, dear. Decisions are the worst. So, we'll cut this out. These are some of my faves. I love these. But sometimes you just need a more linear um, labelly type thing. So that's why I like to use the other ones. Probably use those a little bit more often. But these ones are really pretty. And they're not hard to cut out. You just swish, swing your paper around 
hold your scissors, scissors still and you know gradually close them and swish, swing the paper around. Now I think I decided I liked it up there but I also wanted to cut out these because you just never know. I'm just going to cut it straight. I'm not going to worry about those little edges. Sometimes I need to not, when I can't make up my mind, I need to not look at it and then come back and, and then it will be, oh yes or no. Oh, I do. That's a yes. That's a yes from me. <laughs> there we go. I'm doing that. Yes, I am. And you'll be saying no, because you're looking. You're probably looking, got a better view of it than I do, because you're above it. Whereas I'm looking at it side on. But anyway, I'm locking it in. It's just a paper bag. It's just a fun project. And sometimes I just like the the boldness of the patterns and the colours and obviously not the best glue in the world. There we go. That all stuck. Got enough glue on there. No curling corners. I like that. I tell you why also it's got all the colours. Look, blue, red. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm trying not to because then we get the sniffles yeah I do like that now I have to decide what to put here I love it okay don't know about that one I'm ignoring it I might hang my wet one over there that way I don't have to worry about it going onto the papers So the next time I do my Christmas crafting video, we will continue working on this. Okay, I'm going to put that one there. I'm not going to put a doily behind that one. I'm gonna put that one there like that not sticky here and then the fun thing is filling these okay that's that one so those two are good I need to make a decision about that one I actually really like it I think I'm going to go with it I'm going to go with my instinct one sticky no I keep thinking I've put that um, book page with the grid on it um, that I drew um, upside down, but it's not. It's going to slide it into place. There we go. I really do like that. Now, I could leave that like that. I could have this here, which I do really like. Or, you know, I think it blends in too much over there, so I'm going to put it where I thought. some more stuck together pages love it it's very me okay it might not be you but it's very me right so next my next job is it might be overkill 
um, is just to see if I want to add something to the pocket or not. I might not want to, but we will look. And I'm feeling very happy because I like this project. It's a little bit different to um, working on a journal and, you know, something different. I just made six journals. So um, did take me months. How many months did it take? No, don't count, guys. Just don't, don't, just don't even bother. But yes, it took me a long time. Is that bad to have the Virgin Mary and Santa? Can we not have both? I quite like that. That's a possibility. I, I actually like the both. I'm for the both. Um, I hope I don't offend anybody being for the both, but I, I just like to, the both, the, the two of them. Okay. We can't be that sensitive. We need to just be. Oh, I love this. This image is just... I think I might like that one. This one's all soft and pretty. Oh, that one's pretty too. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No. I'm just going to move that one down there. Oh, hello, little girl. I don't actually know. Here's some pieces. Of, oh, I like that. I might center it. That. These are bits of um, paper. Actually, I probably should put those more with the papers. Um, I haven't decided. I haven't locked it in yet. Oh, I think I might like that. No, I thought I would. All them. I haven't used them yet this year. Let's cut them out. I need my other scissors. I can already see possibly not, but anyway, I want to just have a little look. Getting there. No, I'll tell you why the colours aren't quite quite right with the other colours I've got going on. So then I thought maybe. No, I I don't know why I'm. I'm just not going with my first choice. Because I like to see if there's something else that I might like more. No? See, these colours are bolder. I might like them. No, I think I like that. Okay, I'm going to stop it. Just tell me, stop it now. Stop tormenting. Okay, well, look it's, look how empty it's getting. Really empty. Okay. Well, now let's start gluing. So I'm going to glue that. And I said I'm going to put it more in the centre. Yep. I'm really happy with that. I think it's the ties in the colours a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that one. And I'll just get the glue off my fingers. And now I'm going to tear this image. These are loaded bags. We're doing loaded Christmas bags. 
for a change. Switch it up. Helps if you roll your glue up. going to center that because that's slightly off center okay good yes I like that one too and then this one oh I love it I love the boldness of all those colors do I need to tell you again I don't think so is going to go there and I do like it. I won't say I love it because I keep saying that I would say I like it. Isn't that stimulating to do something different? Okay. Yay. So there we go guys. That's my first part of my video for this project. Um, the first video for this project I should say. It's my video for today and I am really, really thrilled to be doing these. So there we go. So I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and I hope you enjoyed that. I'll put my papers away. Um, loaded bags. So prepare your bags and then we'll load them. So have a great day and thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye. Turning off issues are back.